Hey, Mr. Clash here with a video explaining and showing you the importance of having a plan B when you're going to do a queen walk. Now, I was going to be attacking this base. It was a fresh hit, did not know what was in the clan castle. Could have been anything. They'd been mixing and matching. They'd had dragons and two loons. They'd had just all loons. They'd had baby dragon Valk combos. So there was nothing that was the same in any of their clan castles. And I was going to do a queen walk using the strategy that I just showed you in the previous video i'll put the link up there now if you haven't seen that strategy and that is coming in with valkyries and bowlers into the core using the king as a uh, means of helping create the funnel and also going down a side of the base and then the queen becomes queen walk becomes a queen charge so this was the base and how do i what was my plan well my plan was to start the queen walk here around here Hopefully, it wasn't going to be a long one because there's a cannon down here. I had a couple minions to take out this army camp underneath the um, spells there so that um, the cannon wouldn't shoot any wizards or anything. So the minions were for that and it was out of range of this air defense. So the idea was the queen would take this out, wizard would take that out. Hopefully, the queen would go bam, bam and then start walking this way, at which point... I didn't really want her to take that out. It was going to be very short. I just needed her to start heading this way. Then the golem was going to come in here with the wall breakers. That would distract the arch tower. Then I could get the minion down on this camp. I could get the wizard on that. And then once all this side was clear, the bol golem could go in with the wall breakers, Valkyries, bowlers, and then they'd all go in. They'd path over here. I'd have a rage spell for them. And then into the base I go, Rage Heal, Rage Heal. And that was plan A. With the king then to go down here with three wizards to follow him and he would path around this way, slowly taking this stuff out until he just petered out probably somewhere around here. But by then the middle of the base would be wrecked and whatever was left would just easily take out the rest. That was plan A. Now, what if that didn't go to plan? I needed to have a backup. Now... Seeing as the queen was studying here, the only concern I had was she was going to walk this way. And what if she did? Well, if she did, then I've got my plan B. And the plan B is let her walk that way. And then when she gets around here somewhere, this cannon's down. There are no other outside weapons I can see. Then I can drop the golem down on here. I can drop some wizards down on here to help start getting rid of this. Then I can drop the king down up here with some more wizards. He will then start pathing around. He'll probably try and do something here because there's nothing there. So he'll try and bash into the wall. But the point is there's nothing here for Valks. Get my wall breakers into there. That'll be beautiful. The queen will have taken all this stuff out. Wall breakers in. Valks in. Bowlers in. Then I can rage, heal, rage and heal however they need to be once the initial rage and healer over then you just have to wait and see what the valks and the bowlers are going to be up to that was the initial plan ideally over the expo but if that didn't go according to plan then i needed a plan b so i weren't, wasn't sitting there scratching my head going oh, what am i going to do that was my plan b so plan a this way plan b if the queen walked the other way come in over there so Let's have a look at what actually happened. Okay, so waiting for the queen to go down now, I wanted to say that um, with the plan B, it's always good to have a plan B. And as I look at my attack in review, as I looked at it putting this video together after I showed you what my attack plan were or my what I intended to do, I kind of realized she really wasn't going to be walking to the south. I needed to drop the king onto that gold storage beforehand with the wizard uh, to make the queen go south. But I didn't do that. Um, and as a result, she's gone north. Now, that's why it's important to have a plan B. So that in this case, I had not already started to drop everything onto that southern side realizing that oh my queen's going up the north and I've dropped everything on the south but I want her to go in as well it's not going to be devastating but if I wanted her to go in as well 
then I uh, need to wait to know which way she's going to go. So that's why it was important to have a plan B. Now you notice the king's gone down. Lovely with the three wizards behind him. The Valkyrie, test Valkyrie went in with the bowlers. Nowhere else to go. They're all going to go into that hole. Watch my poison spell. Oh my god. Have a look at that. That is the worst poison spell that you can... It's like, what was the point of that? It didn't really even get anything. It got the um, skelly spell that popped, but I didn't know that skelly spell was there. And look at the second poison. The queen actually took out the baby dragons before the second poison was... The second poison's done nothing. It's like a, I've attacked this base without two, um, two, clan, two uh, dark spells because the poisons didn't do anything. Of course, the bowlers aggro onto the queen and my troops are hitting around to the right-hand side now. And you've noticed that the healer has left my queen and gone onto the golem to give me an immortal golem. And that's pretty good in terms of how it turned out for this attack. But uh, a bit of advice from Reddit, which I've added to the previous video, is that quite often the healer will leave the queen and will just heal the golem. And your Valks and queen and everything needs healing, but the healing's, the healer's decided to heal the golem and you'll end up with a with an attack where there's a heal healer on a golem. And so one way to possibly compensate that is to, instead of bringing a golem, to bring a P.E.K.K.A. Uh, because the P.E.K.K.A. will run a forward like it will with the Valks. And if the healer jumps onto the P.E.K.K.A., the healer is also quite happy to leave the P.E.K.K.A. and go back onto the Valks. So that's a pretty easy three star. In terms of, um, I've got a good amount of troops left so it was around about that right hand side time when the troops were coming out and you see you had all that bottom half of the base left um, and I still had both hero abilities and I had all those Valkyries with the bowlers and it was at that point actually that I knew that this was a three star in the bag that there was no doubt about it even though there was an expo left up and I really wanted the expo to go down um, that's why I wanted to come in from that uh, southwest side where the spell factory is in the middle there because I really wanted that expo to go down, but no matter. And you notice that coming in from that plan B side, uh, it's about as far away from the queen as you can get. And yet the queen still goes down. And that's the beauty of the Valkyries and the bowlers. And that is they aggro onto the queen. And if you did take a pecker instead of a golem, um, then the pecker will aggro onto the queen as well. And uh, one beauty about the pecker, which I'll try in future raids, is that it can bash through walls. And under Rage, with Valkyries and Bowlers and Peckers all under Rage, just, yeah, walls in the base will just melt pretty easily. So, yeah, so there's another uh, three-star, war three-star, fresh hit on this base. I didn't know it was in the Clan Castle. Uh, using that strategy, the um, Go Varbo strategy, where the king is used on the outside of the base. Uh, to help create the funnel to get your Valkyries and the Bowlers in, and the Queen walking, turning into a Queen charge to take care of the other part of the funnel. And uh, yeah, just three star waiting to finish up here. Now, before I go for today's video, I'm going to leave you this, this little question. What do you call a rabbit with fleas? You call it Bugs Bunny. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks for sticking around. Please leave the video a like. Let me know what you thought about the video, about the attack, about having the plan B as an option. In other words, leave a comment. Share the video with your clanmates. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.